Can you walk 16 miles with that 50 pound pack, buddy? Yeah. All right. This is like weighs half as much as me. So this is our room here in Taos at the village. And we were in the spot earlier down there, but they shut it down at six. All right, here we are starting out in Taos in the village. Heading up to Bull of the Woods Trail. And it's about a little past 8 o'clock. We had breakfast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cullibine Twigging National Recreation Trail. Wheeler Peak Trail 90 is this way. Bull of the Woods Pasture is 1.8 miles. About Quarter after eight, New Mexico time. Still going up. Below the woods, pasture. There's the boys coming up. It's kind of wet right now, a big snow melt off. And this is us. All right. Taking a little rest before we head back up. Just some chemtrails going on. There's the little hikers. A little opening up here. Not sure where that peak is. But I believe down there is Taos. Ski Valley. Yeah, you can make it. Well, guys, looks like we've been three miles so far, five miles to go. And, uh, yeah, here we are. I think this is our trail's end. And we just came through there and got really deep up to my waist. And I can't tell if there's any trail left or not. Our first glimpse of Wheeler Peak, way over there. Okay. Yeah. That bro we did manage to make it around that snow. We did trek up around it. And that's our trail. All right, we're coming around the bend here. See some really good view of the slopes here in Taos. And uh, past this guy running up the trail, and guy was amazing shape. But it looked like weather was coming, but now we're willing it away. There's some over there, but strong will say nay. So we gotta go around this this bend. He said there's another little knob. Then we can drop down to. SoCal Basin. So that'd be a good place to uh, hunker down for the night. Yeah, it looks like that bald one's Wheeler Peak, but it's the one past that one that's actually Wheeler Peak. That's a lot of walking. A lot of walking, buddy. Well, this is what we're looking at. I believe we're going to try to set up camp right there I see a little bit of wood and I'm not sure about making it across this drift right here to go up here and then 
That's Wheeler Peak right there. Okay, it's like something's coming over the mountains there. There's Kai getting us water. And we got camp set up. Need to put everything in there. This is my little tent for tonight. Jake and Kai are going to be in this one. Going through that snow, we am getting our boots wet, trying to get them dried out a little bit. And there's Jakey in here chilling. He Jake? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. I bet it's rain. It's rain? Yeah. It's a bit uh, kind of mist or fog or something. That goes straight down. Jakey just tooted. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some sheep right up there. Crazy. It's an interesting night. I don't think any weather came in. It's probably uh, a little after six here in New Mexico. Um. And not much sleep until maybe after three. So maybe three, four, five hours sleep. But I feel okay. No headache or anything. Let's see. Ugh. My watch says it's about. 40 degrees. The thermometer says about 45, 50. It looks like a beaver. The marmot's out. They think it looks like a beaver. It does. Well, it's real windy and cold. There's a marmot. We just had breakfast, we're gonna hit the trail. Okay, this is the biggest snow drift we have in across. And in the middle seems pretty hard packed. But the edges you sink pretty deep. And we're going that way. Well, we made it across the snow drifts. Now we have a lot of walking to go. You see Wheeler? Yeah. There's Wheeler, switchbacks going up there with a snow drift. Looks like the only way up is to go up to this little cut and then up through there. We're debating that because it's pretty sketchy. There's Horseshoe Lake down there. A little panoramic. There's Kai. Yeah, we didn't see this earlier. That uh, one to the far right is Wheeler. Mount Walter, 13141. That's our destination. There's Jake. There's Kai. All right, I know it's real windy. This is our final ascent to Wheeler Peak, I believe. 
And for me, this is my third try. Once when this big guy in front of me was a little kid, once alone, and I tried it from that side, and I lost the trail. But here we are, coming up to Wheeler Peak. Oh my gosh, cheers, so happy. Yes. Here it is. We did it, guys. Good job, Jake. Good job, Kai. We freaking did it. Snow drifts, adversity. Awesome. Well, we made it back to base camp. Had a little meal finally. Boys over there messing with the fire. And, uh,. Heard some thunder. So tomorrow morning, we hike back down. So it's four o'clock. It's raining a little bit. There's some thunder. And, uh, yeah, the boys in their tent, and I'm in here. And according to, um, this, our camp is at 11,980 feet, almost 12,000 feet. And uh, right now it is, well, in the tent, so it's 75 degrees. It feels a little bit cooler than that. But, um, yeah, this will be our last night. We're going to wake up, make some breakfast, and uh, head back down. Peace. We did Wheeler Peak to today, guys. What do you think? Three. Went through a storm. How many storms? Two? Three. Three, Three storms. Now we're chilling by the fire. Sun setting. And this is our last night. Well, it was a windy night, but it stopped raining and the wind dried the tent off and it's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna pack up and head down. So we're headed back down. Well, we had to go up to go back down, but going down is much easier. Uh, we've been on the trail about a half hour, started about 7.30, and uh, and to stop and adjust the packs. Oh. And we're gonna run into a few of these on the trail too. We just kind of go around. Okay. About two and a half hours to get down this from uh, Locale Basin, and it took us about seven hours to go up, two and a half to go down, and uh, three days, two nights. Got into all kinds of conditions, but man, was it an adventure! And uh, be good to take a bath, get a nice hot meal, and uh, rest the bones. Peace out. <laughs>